met her in the club. All the ball is showing love. Can you party with a thug? Hey everyone, it's Trish. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, thanks for stopping by and do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And if not, welcome back to my channel. So your girl has been in school for the past four and a half years. College at that I am a senior at my last semester. Um, throughout my four and a half years, I've learned a lot about myself, about school, and you know, just the, the overall college experience. So I wanted to bring you guys a video on my advice and tips on college and things that you, you guys should be mindful of. Um, I will be graduating in May, thankfully, because I'm tired. I am tired. My brain is tired and you know it's time it's time to get to the money. But yeah, um, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys like this, like this video. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Okay guys, I wrote all of my stuff in my phone. So if you see me looking down, that's what I'm gonna be looking at. The first thing I'm gonna start off with is time management. You want to manage your time wisely between school, work, classes, and studying, and like also having time for yourself. Studying and classes is gonna take up most of your time. If you work, I mean you work or whatever, but also make time, also make sure that you make, sh also make sure that you have time for yourself and make sure that you're like setting aside time for studying as well. The next thing I'm gonna move on is to prior prioritizing and procrastination. Yeah, my first year in school, I was the biggest, when I say the biggest, I was the biggest procrastinator ever. Like, I would always, you know, I always wanna nap, never wanna do anything, school-wise or anything. I had to literally force myself to study when it came to studying, but I got it done. But um, procrastinating is only going to get you so far, so please, y'all, don't be like me. Don't procrastinate your life away. I mean, it's okay, but don't like, don't make it a habit and don't do it too much. Prioritizing. Make sure that you're prioritizing your school first. Every like school comes first, so if you got a test, you got a paper, get it done. Everything else can wait. Make sure you get your stuff done. So the next thing I want to keep um, move on to is keeping up with your ID card. Keep up with your school ID card. This is my ID card, and I've been through like either five or six of them. They're not cheap. You want to keep up with them because they're literally it's your, literally your life and your on campus. Because everywhere you're gonna go, they're gonna ask you for your ID. So make sure that you keep up with your ID, unless you want to be paying twenty to twenty five dollars for each one that you uh get. <laughs> so the next one I'm gonna move on to is being organized. You guys, like in college, you have to be really organized, especially when it comes to classes, like when you have like five, six, seven classes or whatever. Make sure that you have your binder, make sure you have a divider for each class that you have or whatever, or a folder or a folder for each class that you have if you don't want to get a binder. And also make sure that you have a notebook for every um, class that you have too, just so you're not having your work mixed up and you're not flipping through pages trying to figure out what is what. And the big thing I will say is getting a planner. You guys, my planner is my best friend. I'm an organized freak and I like to say organized. So you want to stay organized because, you know, you want to know what's to do. You want to keep up with your homework, your projects, your tests. You want to keep up with everything. When you get your syllabus in the beginning of the semester, make sure that you go through each syllabus for each of your class and like write everything down in your planner. And I also have a calendar up on my wall that I keep up but everything as well. If I don't want to look at my planner, I can see everything up on my calendar. So yes, you want to make sure that you're being organized. The next thing I'm going to say is Google Drive. If your computer or your laptop does not have Microsoft, it's no big deal. It's no big deal. Sign up, make a um, Google account, and you're, you have access to Google Drive. Google Drive has PowerPoints on there. They have Excel sheets. Um, there's a um, document, like a uh, a Word document on there that you can easily convert to like Microsoft stuff so that your professors can easily open up your documents. So like if you don't have Microsoft, just make sure you, you know, open up a Google, Google account and you'll be able to access Google Drive. The next thing I'm going to talk about is books. Books, y'all. Books. My first, my very first semester here at school, I wasted so much money on books, like buying like brand new books. And you don't want to do that. Like wait till like when school starts wait like two or three days after like after classes so you can know like what like 
if your teacher say, oh, don't get this book or whatever, you're just going to use PowerPoints or whatever. And, you know, when you're buying books, do not buy brand new books. Do not buy brand new books. Make sure that you're getting used books or you can even rent your books. I read a lot of my books from Check and Amazon. They have those two, like, websites. They usually have every textbooks on there. And if not, there's a thousand other websites that have um, used or rent textbooks on there. The next thing I'm going to move on to is registering for your classes. When I, okay, I usually for me, I um, I always, in the past, I used to always um, do early registration. Early registration is really good because you can get into the time, like you can like fix your schedule the way you want them to. Like you can get the professor you want to get whenever you're signed up for your classes. So like one, like early registration opens, like get on it, register your classes. You can set your schedule the way you want it to be. If you don't want it, wake up early in the morning you don't want to have late classes in the evening like you get to like fix your schedule to where you want it to be when it comes to early registration i mean you can do it like either way it goes even if you register late but early registration is always best because you get exactly pretty much what you want alarm alarm if you're a person like me that likes to sleep in and likes to get every minute of sleep, make sure that you set alarm your alarm for every for all your classes. Um, well, f well, especially in the morning, because in the morning is where you like you have to be up, like you have to be up bright and early for your classes. Like the iPhones, they come with the alarm. Set your alarm. I have like three alarms back to back: one for 17, one for 7:15, and one for 7:20, just so I can be late. Cause I have t I have had times where I've overslept times that I forgot to set my alarm and I end up missing class or I end up like running late to class and you don't want to do that because you never know what you're missing out on. I'm one of those people I don't like missing out on information. I like my own notes. I like to depend on other people for my notes so you know make sure that you just set that alarm and be on time and be a studious student so that you can get everything that you need to know. So class. So when you like when I, back to what I was saying earlier in the video that um, when you're um, in the beginning of the semester when you're getting all your notebooks for your classes have like a notebook for each class and when you're in class make sure that you're taking notes take good notes because you never know what you have to refer back to and when it comes to studying you don't want to be all over the place looking for notes and this and that so make sure that you're taking your notes make sure like that you're doing study guides and reviews if they're giving because a lot of times professors like go straight off the review or sometimes they take even the questions off the review and put it on the test. So you want to make sure that you're doing your study guides in your reviews. Also when you're um what for all your classes, you of course you have your professors and stuff. Make sure that you're communicating with your professors. If it's talking to them, um going to their office hours, their office hours is really good because they see that you're really trying. Like if you're even if you're struggling, if you're going to them all the time and they see that you're really um trying, they may give you extra points or whatever. But it also benefits you as a student because you're able to ask them questions that you are not comfortable to ask in class or whatever. So make sure that you go go to those um office hours and also emailing your teachers. You can email your teachers if you know if you're you're like running late or you know if you just need extra time extra help with something if you need extra time to make up an assignment or turn in an assignment so make sure that you're communicating with your teacher so they can know who you are <sighs> next thing I'm gonna say is ask questions like ask questions in class um, somebody can be thinking about the same question you want to ask or whatever and they're just too shy so make sure that you're asking questions in class just so you can fully like you fully understand everything I'm, I'm that student that I will ask questions. I ask questions all day, every day if I have to. It can be the stupidest questions I'm still asked because no question is a dumb question. So, study buddies. You want to have study buddies. If you're a person like me, I don't really, I'm not gonna say I don't like study buddies, but I prefer to study on my own because when I'm studying on my own, I'm not distracted and I can actually concentrate on what I need to concentrate on and I can actually focus and like study the way I want to focus. But if you're one of those people that prefer study buddies, like link up with somebody in class, like like make friends or whatever so you can have somebody to study with because one method that you may not may you may be struggling with, um the next person can have a better method. So you know study groups and study buddies are always good. Um when you're studying, you want to make sure that you're actually understanding the material. I mean, memorizing is okay or whatever, but um, when you're memorizing, you're only memorizing for that point in period. You want to make sure that you're understanding so then when it comes like to your finals or your midterms or whatever, um, you can, when you're looking back over your notes, 
you will be like, oh, I remember this or whatever because I, you know, you understand it. So you want to make sure that you're understanding. When you understand, it's easy for you to remember. So have goals. Set goals for yourself while you're in school. Um, I don't know for me, uh, I like, I don't like making C's at all. I don't like filming the class order. Of course, we're all, we're all going to get those, but you want to set goals for yourself, whether if it's academic goals or if there's like mental goals or whatever goals that you have that you want to achieve. Um, get sleep, please y'all, please get some sleep because if you don't get some sleep, it's going to be many days that you're going to be exhausted. You're going to be overwhelmed. You're going to be stressed out or whatever. Like, make sure that you're getting sleep so that you can wake up for your classes. Make sure that you're getting sleep so you can have energy to be up and alert for your classes. Because there's nothing worse than, like, being in class and being, like, a zombie in class. Trust me, I've had a lot of those days, especially with the program. I am, and I am a respiratory student. And, you know, there's been a lot of nights where I've had to pull all-nighters. And, you know, because I didn't make time to study or I prefer to take a nap or whatever the case is. But just make sure that you're um, getting enough sleep so you're able to get stuff done while you can. Avoid stress. Stressing yourself out is not going to do anything. It's only going to get you so far. It's not going to make you feel good. You're just going to get a headache. So just make sure that you're avoiding stress. Um, give yourself a break every now and then give yourself a break don't be studying like all day every day studying till like 12 at night or studying all night like myself and cramming or you know just studying back to back all like throughout the week you want to give yourself a break in the sweeter like let your brain recuperate and then get back onto it like give yourself a break we all deserve a break exercise um my freshman year i you know like a typical freshman i gain i want to say the freshman 30 versus the freshman 15. Uh, make sure that you exercise it helps with you having energy and just it helps you like stay in shape and you know it just it's just a good way to keep you going so make sure that you're exercising um my junior i want to say either my through my sophomore year through my junior year i was on a strict schedule where i was like working out from like monday through thursday and then friday through sunday i was not working out but when i got into my prom ground it just became and i won't i won't say impossible but it just became it wasn't a priority to me anymore just because it like my program was already taking up a lot of my time but you just want to make sure that you're exercising organizations organizations and clubs like when you first get to school or while you're in school you want to like be social um you don't want to be cooped up like me i am a very even though i may seem like bubbly well i am bubbly i'm a bubbly person but like i'm one of those people like i don't really care to like socialize with people i really don't um i try to get out that bubble get out of my bubble um i'm very friendly but like i said i'm not really like I'm a little anti-social. I sometimes prefer to just stay in my room, watch Netflix, listen to music, and just be on the phone. Um, be like, be social. Be social while you're in school. Join clubs, join organizations, find something that you like, become a part of it. If you want to pledge, go ahead and pledge. The pledge in life was not for me. I tried to like going to like their meetings and stuff, and I almost came close to rushing, but it just wasn't for me because I'm not. I'm not one of those people that like to be around girls 24-7 and I don't want nobody telling me what to do, when to do it, and what not to do and stuff. You get to you get the gist of what I'm saying, but yeah. Um, join stuff, like have fun while you can and just do stuff on campus, even if it's just like going to like events and like social gatherings and stuff. I did that a lot early on in my career and I was a part of a few organizations or whatever, but you know, you wanna you wanna stay stay involved. Stay involved. utilizing your college resources are like within like on the like a university or college there's like there's health clinics there's libraries there's computer centers there's even like a health center or and just a lot of different like things on campus that you can utilize the health center i know for me in our um we do have a health center here on my campus and we also have like a, a dental clinic so i sometimes i utilize the free cleaning or whatever like you want to utilize stuff like that um, computer um, the computer centers if you don't have a printer of your own you can just go to computer center or the library and print out what you need to print um, print out like I like like I said again keep it with your ID because when you're praying you're gonna like they're gonna ask you for your ID number so you know utilize things like that um, be yourself be yourself um, don't don't force yourself on nobody um, if somebody genuinely wants to be your friend they will be your friend 
um don't chase after nobody don't chase after no friends or whatever um friends will come and go in college they will like you you're not going to start off with the same friends and finish off with them some people are lucky enough to do that but even some of the friends that you do start off with you lose some in the process and some of them stay like some like like i always say friends are some of them some of some are there for a season and some of them for a lifetime so like don't like just be yourself and you know just be you and just be cool you know be cool um i'm gonna finish off by saying this or one of my last two things that i'm gonna finish off with saying College is like, it's a learning experience. You're gonna make mistakes. Um, when you make these mistakes, learn from them. Let them help, let the mistakes help you evolve as a person. Let it help you become a better person. Um, don't stress it too much. Like like I said, um, just, you know, just don't, don't let these mistakes hinder you or whatever because you stressing and stuff is just, it's not gonna do you no know, justice. So just make sure that you're learning or whatever and have fun, like have fun when you can. Like go to parties every now and then every now and then but not too much not too much because like i said school is priority and the last thing i'm going to say is i'm going to say is college is expensive so budget your money budget your money because there's going to be a lot of days where you're going to have stuff to do and you're not going to have money because you ran through your money you're going to be hungry and you won't be able to eat nothing because you ran through your money and it's just like little stuff like that i know for me my program is very expensive so it's just like a lot of times most of my money goes towards my stuff that I have to do for my uh, program or whatever but I manage it to where I can still do stuff and you know get food and whatever else I need to get but make sure that you're budgeting your money not running through your money like if you have a credit card debit card make sure that you're saving some money like for gas food whatever it is that you need make sure that you're also keeping money on the side just for work, just in case something happens so yeah this will wrap up this video i hope you guys learned some stuff i hope you guys gave some tips and advice um yeah yeah <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed it i do not forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one